What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. So, time to hop in that time limited genius dark night. So, we're about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, want to take support any further, Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our top name membership and hit the notification bell so you can notified every time I upload a video or go live on each channel. So, let's go ahead and get into it. You, but why? What purpose serves your little entourage if it falters against a mere night walker? Well, it's actually unfair of me to say that. A night walker is a mid high grade monster, way out of their league. And that one was not even a fake. That Noah wiped out. Oh, that Noah whipped up to test us. It was an actual night walker. If I remember correctly, Celsa's murder is behind this attack as well. And after being saved, moved by her savior's selfless gesture. Eleanor is supposed to start opening up her tightly closed mind, but that's clearly not happening now. Well, you keep berating the, you keep berating the girl. I won't open up shit to you either. Her savior, the protagonist, doesn't exist. That is harsh judgment, of course. We are grateful for your valor in rescuing Miss Rivlin, but surely you must have noticed that it was an unforeseen assault. Your Royal Highness. This is an outrageous transgression, one that warrants an investigation into the conduct of the headmistress and the instructors. A Nightwalker is by no means a monster within the capability of mere students like ourselves to vanquish. And yet we just vanquished it. Well, color me astonished, ma'am, I thought. Of all people, you would be aware that in life, we are not granted the privilege of selecting our adversaries. You are not, or you are not to insult our highness in my presence, Linehaber. You are fully aware that it was indeed a grave anomaly. Is that, oh, is that not why you came to Miss Revelyn's aid? Dusty pink hair, vertical pupils. That's a chin of Von Zeno's. He ain't had to call a shit Dusty. <laughs> he ain't had to call a shit Dusty. The closest ally the, of the royal princess and the next in line on the leadership of the House Zeno's. Also called the Greedy Viper. And of course, she's incompatible with Knox, a son of darkness, a daughter of sanctity, making friends. Bad chance, this is inner lunatic. Anyone who's entertaining such possibility is deluded. Pity I don't speak bitch, which is clearly the tongue of your sacred. This dude here, bro. Oh my lord. Bro. Bro. Bro, we don't have to go down this path. And you, the crazy thing is you keep saying, well, this, they don't really trust me no more. No shit. You keep it Bro, are you now extending your insult to the family of Zenos? What if I am? Knox, chill, bro. <laughs> I'm going to need you to chill, fam. You imputed younglings. Since when did your task include squabbling amongst yourselves? Great, the bald Avenger is here. Lovely. See what y'all did? So our examination reaches end. About that, you're correct. It has indeed concluded. He like, well here, take this. Get on out of my face. He like, well, take this, get out of my face, bro. Good grace, and this one has secured himself a black stone. I may as well begin to favor you, regardless of your luxuriant hair. Cadet Lionhaver claims the first place with his black stone. Followed by the groups that secure purple stones. Does anyone object? We ain't never gonna have friends, huh? <laughs> like friends that are actually in this academy with us. They ain't never gonna happen. Was assault by the Nightwalker a deliberate component of this examination? It was evident that it did not belong in this space, and my misguided to anticipate an elusive elucidation. An inquiry is in process regarding the matter, ma'am. Also, though modest in light of the event that transpired, compensation shall be granted to Cadet Rivlin. And to you, Whitehead, a special reward shall be granted upon your valiant. I have no need for a reward. Hell no. I refuse to write a whole new chapter with Eleanor like this. Even for this massively distorted run that has no protagonist, that's too much. 
And most importantly, accepting the reward is tantamount to acknowledging that I acted on her account. Further misunderstandings are the last things I need. Knox Farm Line Haven. Why did you save my life? Fuck, I knew things were going too well. I mean, you did it? You could have let her die if that was the case. Your agitation is affecting your gifted trait actor. Don't flatter yourself. I subdued the monster. You merely were in this vicinity. I wish we could just stop being an ass and then be one. Like, I don't know, bro. I, I get it. I get it, but ah, shit. Botched it. Eleanor Derivant, cold cackling and true to her app name. Oh, app nickname, Gold Vixen. Under the belief that anything, even people's hearts, can be bought. But. I'm still perplexed. He had no reason to save me. He even declined the reward from the instructor. I subdued the monster. You merely went in his vicinity. What a load of bullocks. See, she don't even buy your shit, bro. <laughs> She not even buying your shit, fam. Could it be possible that he spoke sincerely? Milady, you said it yourself countless times that he is not but a poor and oh a bore entirely. No, I think not. I can only summarize he harbored an ulterior motive. Well, maybe. This calls for a thorough investigation. Noted. I shall endeavor to gather as much information as possible. No. I shall take charge of it myself. Should he learn that I've dispatched you to trail him, his foes won't remain idle spectators. Okay, physical training during combat studies, history of Arkansas, related to his rule, da 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 da. As you wish me, lady. All right. <sighs> Master, are you sure you're all right? You're turning pallid. Are you experiencing coldness in your hands and feet again? That was a few days past, and I have recovered. I assure you, I am well. Difficult. So someone must fill in the role of the missing protagonist. Only then I'll be able to focus on my grand plan, reclaiming my lost memories, and figuring out who the mysterious messenger was. No more unexpected twists, nah. But it's not like I can do it. I'm the freaking villain of the story. Wait now. Master? That's it. What's it? What did you, what light bulb went off in your head? only way I can be the villain slash standing protagonist of this cursed world. Explain for those of us who are for those of us who are dumb. Madam Luna, movements have been detected in Devil Dome. Madam Luna, okay. He is soon to awaken. So this land shall be drenched anew with the blood of the fallen. Prepare yourself, Dove. The time has arrived for us to achieve our purpose. To the Arkham Empire and its fall. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. An online forum I've seen countless RPG connoisseurs argue that there is only a fine line between a hero and an anti-hero. Or an anti-hero. Now I very much agree with them. For one, more often than not, their backgrounds bear an uncanny resemblance. 
apart from some intrinsically evil exceptions. Most villains in modern stories come from a life of trauma and pain. Just like the heroes do. In other words, even the baddies have stories to tell. Of which people apparently can't have enough. Of course, that's not to say the heroes and villains are one and the same. The villain gotta remain an anti-hero for the sake of the story. But what if the story is not just a story anymore? The only way for an anti-hero to survive in a heroless world that is doomed to collapse is assuming the role of a hero as well. Didn't I say that from the beginning? Just be the fucking hero? I, didn't I say that? I could have sworn I said... Okay, whatever. I could have told you that, my boy. I could have told you that, my boy. I just can't get used to the... Oh, I can't just can't get used to dicing with death. But if only that can bring back what I've lost, well, once more unto the breach. This time, I'm to breach the secret wall of the biggest crime gang of this world, conspiring to bring down the royal family. So that was a, okay. All right. Yes, lunatic. So now what? I'm guessing this is the meeting where they're trying to figure out what the hell happened. Yep, that's exactly what this is. Okay. Exactly what this is. They're trying to figure out what the hell happened, why it happened, when it happened. Any knowledge as to why we've been summoned? What the hell? Okay, whatever. What the fuck was that? Any knowledge as to why we've been summoned? Is there a cause for concern on my part? You're the oh, you're the one answerable for the examination. What grave errors have you made this time? You son of a I told you I committed no wrong. What jolly subject occupies your conversation? <laughs> oh nothing. They like nothing. Trust me, ain't ain't nothing going on over here. Pray all present. Let us proceed with our discussion. Where were we now? No soul has uttered a word here. Am I to presume that neither of you took the pains to acquaint yourselves with my notice beforehand? Perhaps does this pertain to your alerting the re oh your alert regarding the recent examination being trespassed upon my enemy of Elendine, mistress? You are most correct. I am convinced that our foe shall not cease until Ella die. Well, no, this entire empire crumbles. The assault on Miss Rivlin marks only the beginning of it all. I trust you are all aware of the reason behind her becoming a target, yes? No, no, not really. Of course, ma'am. I believe at least 70% of all commercial goods circulating within the empire pass through an enterprise managed by the Rivlin family. If targeting a Rivlin Enterprise was a deliberate choice, I can only surmise there will be a second, perhaps even a third victim. I can agree more. Hence, we must perceive this. Oh, we must perceive this occurrence as a warning, a challenge to our academy. Prepare yourselves, for we shall orchestrate a re resolute response. Yes, ma'am. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> That's how they like. Aye, aye, Captain. Yes. Oh, and speaking of matters to keep under your observation, we have a student that might be worthy of close attention. A student, man. Oh, this about to be fun. Yes, Merlin. Oh, her. And not just any student, perhaps the most promising one of the incoming class. Who could that be, man? A talent head Mrs. Trinity is evidently willing to acknowledge. This marks the first oh, this marks the first such instance since Princess Penelope. Nogs von wait, huh? Oh, was she oh she was old girl. 
Oh, she was pretending to be old girl. I thought this was okay. All right, my bad. Now I get it. I get it. Well, surely you're not referring to the notorious Limertine of the Linehaver family. Oh, I most, most certainly am. That boy. That boy what? May ascend to a level of power surpassing my own. They're like, ain't no goddamn way. <laughs> Have I misheard? No, she did talk of the silver hair lout. Yeah, that's right. We could surpass her. Mm -hmm. Hey, now, this is a tavern. No place for a lone bantling. Have you lost your way, my boy? That must be cheering. The keeper of the tavern. Well, at least that's what he claims to be. Moonlight to the talon feather. Cheers to the empire. Come along. Though why she granted you the parole, I'll never know. Not feeling inclined to introduce yourself? Sure. That's what they call me. That Yeah, that's what they call you. Well, thank you, Sharon. Let's see. The headquarters of Lunatic. Three. Wait, what happened to two? Wait, wait, is this a code? Oh, I'm about to say, I thought we were about to do three, two, one. <laughs> I saw three on one. I'm like, wait, hold on. Are we not counting? Okay, three, one, eight, four. You are exposed to high density, oh, high intensity magic. The flow of your mana is reversed. Your trait, ultra sensitivity to mana, block the backflow. Transportation in progress. Nauseating. Damn you, my measly attribute points. Oh shit. Oh, she about to kill our ass. Who are you? Miss Luna? The leader of Lunatic, the only one of the three Supremes who remains undisclosed. I have sought you out. Now you can take that sword out of my neck. So you managed to uncover the path to our clandestine headquarters and my identity. Let me ask you one last time. Who are you? Knox von Lionhaber. I desire to become a member of Lunatic. Uh, <laughs> this this sounds like such a bad idea. I'm going to just be honest. This sounds like such a bad idea that we're going down a, this particular path. Hopefully we can turn this around. I mean... um. I don't know how he's going to navigate this, being a hero and an anti-hero, and um, eventually he's going to have to choose which one he'd rather be. Hopefully, we um, choose the hero route, because I would hate to see us die at the end. That would really suck. Because um, villains, you know, they, they never really win in the end. So hopefully we'll live. But I don't know. I don't. I never know what else. But that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. You did make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me? Twitch, Twitter, Discord links, all of that is in the description as well. And I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace.